In this script, we're going to show you how we can combine two texts. So we have two inputs here, the first name and the last name. And we want the string in the output to be both of these combined. So let's go ahead and add our script. OK, so let's uh, first go ahead and define uh, some global parameters. So dim source one. So we're going to have the global geometry and we'll do the same for uh, source 2 and we also want to have our output. Okay, uh, Let's go ahead and create some parameters in the script uh, interface. So we want the user to be able to select the containers so we'll be using the register container parameter so parameter container so this will be our source one the, so this function receives uh, two inputs you have the name and the label And then we have the another uh, parameter for source two, and one last one for the target uh, for this output. Okay, so now our script has three container parameters. Okay, <coughs> every time one of the inputs changes, so the text updates. Uh, we need to trigger a function. Uh, to have this callback when the text changes, we need to uh, define uh, or register the callback. So we do this on the on init function, which is called when the scene is loaded or opened. So let's first define our global. Uh, let's just change this so we know what they are. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, define our global parameters here. So we're calling the container and getting the geometri geometry parameter of that container. Okay, uh, so now that we have uh, we've set up our global parameters, let's uh, set up the register callback on the two inputs. So to do this, we take the geometry which has the register text callback. Do this for the second input as well. Okay, so every time the text changes, this register text change callback is going to happen, and then we need to do something with that. So we use the uh, on geometry changed event. So here we'll set up a new variable, a local variable, which will be the to the two texts combined. And now that we have the our final output, we can push it to our output container. Well, our output geometry. And that should be it. 
Let's save our scene. And now you can see as I change the text, the output changes as well.